What's going on everyone? Drop Goblin here and I've decided to make a video showing something really cool that you guys might not know how to do. Um, it's when you want to get an acapella but you can't find it so you have to find other ways to get that vocal. Um, a lot of people try and do a lot of like heavy equalization which of course you still have the backing track there you just you know are losing a lot of the quality from it. There is a trick though that I've known for a very very long time and it is what's called inverting and how you do this is what you need two identical quality tracks you want the one that is an instrumental and then you want the full quality with the vocal in it um, how this works is you take one of the tracks and you invert it or flip it and then you layer it on top of the other track and what happens is the instrumental the music disappears and the vocal remains. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, what I've chosen, actually, is going to be what is going to be the 2012 Christmas track. I made one last year, the Merry Goblin Balls track. Um, I only had a few days to work on it, so I had it in my mind that this year I was going to give myself ample amount of time to make, you know, a, a much more uh, proper, high-quality track. And um, it's September now, so I have plenty of time. So this year, I've decided to take the Snow Miser song from, I think, 1974 uh, from a Christmas special. And now this is an old track, and there's no way I found the acapella for this. And I scoured the internet everywhere. Couldn't find it. Luckily, I landed at a place that had a cover version of it. And not only did they have the cover version of it, but they also had the instrumental of it as well. And just by listening to it, I could tell that it was the same quality. So I went, get, went ahead, I purchased it. And um, instead of uh, throwing up one of those programs that you can see the whole entire screen as one big frame, I'm just gonna have you guys look at it here. You guys will get the idea. Um, I'm going to use Sony SoundForge. Usually whenever I do single audio editing, I just use one of these editors. Audacity works as well. I prefer Sony SoundForge for that. Now I have the Snow Miser without the vocal, and I also have the Snow Miser with the vocal as two waves. I'm going to bring one of them in, and this is what it sounds like. Turn it up a bit. All right, this one would be no vocal, so we got instrumental. The other one with the vocal sounds like this. I missed a white Christmas. I missed a snow. I missed a icicle. I missed a ten below. All right, so those are the two tracks. And what I'm going to do, and it doesn't matter which one you use, I'm just going to bring one back in. I'm going to my process here and I'm going to invert and flip. Think of a guitar string. It goes up and down, it vibrates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse that string. So what goes up will, will go down. It's not going to change the quality at all, but you're going to see these peaks go backwards. Check it out. Boom, there you go. These peaks are once high up here are now down below and it's going to sound the exact same. Alright, so I'm going to save that, just as it is, there we go. Now I'm going to bring up my Ableton, and I got two audio tracks ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one on top, one right under. The one under has a vocal, that one I didn't do anything with, it's as is. Now I'm going to play them together on top of each other. And they're exact, so everything is starting at 0, 0.0 time on both tracks. I missed a white Christmas. I missed a snow. I missed a icicle. I missed a ten below. And as you can hear, I'll mute one of them out. This is the one with the music. I'll bring that one back. I missed a snow. I 
Mr. Icicle and Mr. Ten Below. Muted the one out with the vocal. And that's how you do it. Uh, remember, the tracks have to be the exact quality. So if you find a place that has the instrumental and the full version, chances are it's coming from the same company and you'll be able to get the result that you just heard here. Um, after this is all said and done, just render it out as a WAV file and uh, there you have it. You have your acapella. So hopefully that helped out and you guys will be able to enjoy doing a lot more uh, vocal work with your tracks uh, when maybe you've given up because you couldn't find the proper acapella. This is the way to do it. So good luck, have fun, see you later.